Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest, okay? Don't try to force any reading into your world. And thank you so much, Collective, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. I truly mean that. All right, so um, what I'm seeing here right off the bat is uh, somebody is losing sleep at night, unable to eat, unable to sleep. This is about as much stress as somebody can handle before it's man down, okay? Um, I feel like they're doing a lot of thinking here late at night. I see him sleeping in a bed alone, okay? Um, they're really stressed out because they, they're very, it's, it's like they're under a lot of pressure, okay? Um, can't think about anything else. They've got a decision to make here, okay? They're juggling whether or not to communicate with someone and take some action or whether or not to just walk away. Um, knowing that there's still love in these cups. So this is, I feel like this could be a masculine energy. Um, what is this one? Yeah, see, they haven't been wanting, okay. This is, and this is why they're stressed out, right? I, I feel like what they want to do is reach out and talk to you. I feel like, actually, not, not just that. Let, let, boop, let's rewind, okay? Um, and... What I'm really thinking here, what I'm feeling like here is really what they want to do is send you about a bazillion messages because <laughs> they have a lot to say, okay? Um, they really do. They have a lot to say, um, how they feel inside, what they're thinking about, okay? All of these are thoughts. This is all the stuff that they want to talk about. But the biggest concern that they have is... Um, how do they talk to you about all of the crappy things that they've done to you in the past? This is all the crappy things that they've done. And this person literally has, like, created this crate, right? This wall behind them. They're completely stuck. They can't move until they confront this. Until they turn around and take a look at all of the horrible things that they've done, okay? Um, all the ways they, they've screwed up, the things that they need to make right, you know. Um, that's what this person needs to do is turn around and confront all of this, but they don't want to do that, okay. And it's stressing them out so bad, I feel like it's giving them bad health just from the stress alone. That's really what I'm feeling like here. Um, and then I've got the Page of Swords. I feel like this person is watching you or someone is. Um, whether it's your person or, you know, I'm kind of seeing this as a feminine energy, to be honest. So this could be someone else around them that's watching them like a hawk, but yet blocking them. I feel like they're blocking them at the same time. Okay. Um, and this person, all they're doing is thinking about you, how time is running out. Remember I said they feel a lot of pressure. That's because uh, they're running out of time to make this decision. It's either take action and communicate or walk away. Seriously, those are the two choices here that this person has. The problem is, is um, they're completely focused on you, okay? They have a lot of love inside for you, um, but they haven't shown you, haven't told you yet. I feel like they're keeping it on the down low. They're hiding that. They've been hiding the way they feel about you, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with, um, a water sign, maybe. I've got Taurus out here as well, Aries. Mostly Gemini. But yeah, they're, you're a big temptation for this person, and I feel like all they're doing is looking at you. Losing sleep, their eyes are all sunk in and black, right? Um, they're having a lot of trouble in their world, um, in their personal situation, wherever they are. Things are burning to a crisp, okay? Because they're not paying attention to their own stuff. They're paying attention to you and how gorgeous you are, how abundant you're becoming, how knowledgeable and smart you are, how spiritual you are. 
okay you're having to come up you're glowing you're you're gorgeous you're sexy this is this card says i can't sleep i can't eat i can't focus on anything but you this connection is literally driving me like completely bonkers i don't know what i'm gonna do i need to make a decision when it comes to love because i can't shake this connection that's what this card says but oh time's up for this person right i feel like this this wheel is turning and it's closing a door it's closing the doorway um the opportunity to get back to you really fast and this person needs to make a decision do they want this new beginning or not they're gonna have to put forth some kind of effort in order to get this with you um, I feel like they could have an abundant new beginning, right? Walking through this garden entry entryway here, this garden path. This is where you are right now, collective, in the garden, enjoying um, your life, um, starting a new cycle, being divinely led and abundant, okay? They could be at your side here, but... They need to take action. They need to do something about it. And this person doesn't, like, if they come forward, they've got to confront how, how they treated you. They've got to confront their mistakes. And they don't want to do that. I feel like that, that may be what they're afraid of the most. That and this Page of Swords. For some reason, I feel like this person's being watched and kind of blocked from coming to you and I, I feel like they're I feel like this is the karmic man and this karmic is just a page if this person I, I feel like they need to get some strength if you look at these pictures they're they're very weak in both of these pictures there's a page energy that's standing stronger than they are I feel like this person needs to buck up you know, and I feel like they're afraid of a page. Um, could be someone younger than them. Could be someone who's fairly immature. But I feel like that's one of the things they're afraid of. That and, and facing their mistakes. Taking, having, you know, taking accountability, right, for the things that they've done. They can't stop thinking about you. Very nostalgic, very up in their emotions, you know. Um, you could have children with this person, not necessarily though. Um, or you could have known this person for like years and years and years. Um, but you know, you're all that they think about is that peaceful, gentle, nurturing love, okay? Um, you were very innocent with this person. But, you know, way more innocent than this Page of Swords is being. This Page of Swords, I feel like they're watching this person's every move. This person could be a heavy drinker. They may go out a lot. They may um, have multiple people. There, there could be some gossip here involved in this as well. Clarify this. Thank you. Competition. I feel like um, one of the reasons, yeah, and they're in a lot of regret. I feel like one of the reasons uh, they're afraid of this page of swords is because they're used to this page watching them and busting them, okay? I feel like this person played a game here, and um, they, it's almost like in order to keep this person's attention or to mess with their head, um, they would play this game of competition and include other people, third-party situations, that kind of thing, right? Competition, games. Um, I feel like they're both very immature in that aspect. These two just kind of like, it's toxic. It's an immature little game that this person has played. Um, and now they're in a lot of regret because, see, they played, they included you in the game. And you, person watching, I feel like are a divine being. This is a twin flame soulmate card. So I feel like I could be talking to some divine feminines out there, right? Now this person's in a lot of regret because the game that they've played with maybe even multiple people 
in order to get attention, feed their ego, right? They liked seeing the competition. This time they're in regret because the game, number one, the game didn't work on you. You're far too intuitive here, connected to the divine, and you're being spiritually led. You're, you're, you let the divine tell you what's up. That, I mean, that's it. You allow the divine to tell you what's going on. And so I feel like you didn't play this game. This person turned their back on you, but then they, you just was like, well, uh, you're, you're going to just turn your back and abandon me in this energy. Well, then fine. I think you kind of went boop right off the bat, right? And that kind of triggered you to go on this journey and pick yourself back up, right? Take a look at you, heal, move forward, okay, and level up, which is what you're doing. But this person now, they're just learning their lesson, what their games cost them. They played the game, the same one that worked on others, that fed their ego, that they thought was exciting, right? But that game didn't work on you. You're different. You're unique, okay? You're real, and you, knew, you, you know your worth. You know your worth. And now that's why they're in regret, because uh, they screwed over the wrong person, the one that they want to get back to now. They played their little game with you. Not only didn't it work, but uh, it had an adverse effect for them, because it's like now you're the only person that they want to be with. And they... Man, this person screwed up so bad. I can't even describe it. it. It's just, and they're thinking the same thing. They're like, I screwed up so bad. I can't even describe it. Yeah, if only they had confronted all of this crap before, right? I feel like this person had a window of opportunity where they could have more easily made it better. They had to take action. They have to put in some effort here, yes. But you may have accepted it a lot better before, like say one to two years ago. It would have been easier for this person to get back in. They wasted all that time not wanting to confront this. Okay, do you see my point? So now that window of opportunity is closing, which makes it really hard for this person to come back in. They, not only did they screw you over, they waited too long to make it right. Okay, yeah, all right, so what else can you show me here for the collective? Doing a lot of talking today. What else can you show me for the collective? Could be dealing with a Virgo. I see both of these cards as Virgo energy, okay? This person's gone within. They've done a lot of thinking. They're trying to light their way and figure out where to step next, what steps to take next in this. The reason why I see this card as a Virgo, too, is because if you look close, it's kind of the same person, okay? Um, except without the hoodie, right? That's because this is all about logical thought, going within, just thinking calmly on things, right? Picking things apart. This one has a lot of emotion added to it, a lot of regret, a lot of sour, 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 sorrow, a lot of suffering, loss, and bereavement, right? Huge loss here. And that's... That's why they're not wearing a hoodie. It's impossible for this person now to hide all of that emotion. They're going within. They're feeling like, I feel like they're kind of isolating themselves a bit to think about all this. But you add emotion into the mix, and this person, I'm telling you, it shows all over. It does. People are going to start seeing how this person is sort of suffering internally. OK, if they if they don't do something about it. Um, yeah, they're still juggling that up here. I feel like the divine is trying to say, look, it's time for union. It's time to close out the cycle properly the right way. 
okay? This person, they need to make a decision. They're still juggling whether to take action or walk away. And, yeah, I, I feel like they feel very defeated. They feel very, um, like they got cheated out of a really awesome connection. But the thing is, is it looks to me like this person played games and did it to themselves. For real. Yeah. Because they had you right there at one point, And you were innocent in this. You're wearing mittens. That's how I know. It's the mitten. <laughs> okay? You would have never hurt this person. There's no way you could have hurt them with a mitten on. All right? So you were innocent in this. No, no. I feel like what screwed them up right away is this game playing and, uh, and, and the competition, right? And the gossip and this and and putting this page of swords and you in a third party situation to feed this person's ego. I, I really feel like it was it was games. This person had to grow up. And they did. It took them a lot of going within and a lot of deep thought. But they're they they're learning a lesson here, hardcore. This is a lot of painful thought. This is pain. They're in a lot of pain. All because they didn't want to confront and make right all of the mistakes that they made. You know, do they want to come forward? Yeah. They're hanging on to you. They're hanging on to you. I see this as being you. You could be a Leo. You could be a Gemini. Your person could be a Virgo. I've got an air sign out here. They could be, uh, they could, I feel like this is who they're with. They're, they're afraid of a page. You know, but they do want to come towards you. They can't seem to let you go. You know why? They cannot shake this connection. I'm telling you. Just no person watching this... Th your person's up all night in a lot of pain and turmoil over this. But it, they're putting themselves in, in the situation and they're standing in their own way um, because of fear and not wanting to take accountability. You know, and you're just done. I feel like you've blocked the situation out. You're done. You, you put your foot down, both of them actually. You're guarding your heart here, see? guarding it and you're just you're not speaking you're not communicating uh you're blindfolded here this is to me it's like see no evil hear no evil speak no evil i'm done you're out that's it you're cut i'm done right that's kind of the feeling i'm getting off of that card so you know i feel like your person this this person wants to come forward tell you how they feel they cannot let this connection go they can't shake it but right now they're they're in a lot of pain because they want to be by you. They want to be here at your side. Okay? They want it. They want this. But they're so worried about this communication. Okay. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this little quick reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney because it's so cool. <laughs> anyway, collective, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And until next time, take care of you and peace out.